In this video, we'll show you how to install blind corner pull-out baskets. Before you start, ensure your blind corner cabinet door is no less than 450 millimeters. First, take the shelf out of the cabinet through the door and remove any shelf supports. Then, mark out the six pre-drill hole locations for the sliding frame, as shown in the diagram. Next, pre-drill the six holes to a depth of roughly 2.5 millimeters using a two millimeter drill bit. To install the sliding track frame, align the frame with the pre-drilled holes and using the 16 millimeter wood screws, fix the sliding track to the bottom of the cabinet. Next, loosen the two screws on the front of the frame so they're sitting three millimeters out. Slide the front support rail over the screws, ensuring the top cutout is the closest to the cabinet side panel. Secure into place by tightening the screws. To install the adhesive buffer, stick it onto the back of the front support rail just below the top cutout. This will absorb the impact of the rear roller when opening. For the next step, you need to ensure the rail stays as close to the side panel as possible. Now you can install the basket frame. Screw the basket frame securely into the holes on the sliding track frame, using the hex screws provided. Attach the front roller wheels to the bottom of the basket frame using the hex nuts provided. Use the front round hole for the roller on the right side of the frame. Use the elongated hole for the roller on the left side of the frame. For right hand open, simply mirror the placement of the rollers. To attach the handles, remove the screws and then position over the front holes on the frame and fix into place. Finally, place the top rail of each wire basket onto the small hooks on the frame to complete the installation. Your blind corner pull-out baskets are now installed. Please note, some handles in certain configurations can collide with each other when doors are open, potentially causing the blind corner cabinet doors not to open wide enough to access the cabinet. Test your chosen handles before installing, and if you find this is the case, you will need to either adjust the positions of the handles, choose different handles, or use push-to-open mechanisms without any handles. Alternatively, you can move your entire blind corner cabinet away from the wall 50 millimeters so that the blind corner panel sits out from the adjoining cabinet by 90 millimeters rather than 40 millimeters, leaving room for the handles to open. When the bench top is installed, you'll not be able to see the gap between the cabinet and the wall. Follow the link below to see how to assemble a wine rack.